with detoxifying chemicals, not just the deep lungs. And when I looked at the chemicals in the last formulation, I found two particularly disturbing One is DHT. What I found was that they actually give DHT to lab animals to cause damage to their lungs and cancer. And what happens is there are special cells in the respiratory system that are charged with detoxification and the BHT gets into those cells and it actually becomes a more toxic chemical and it kills those cells. And 50% of people have genetics that make their detoxification enzymes less effective and efficient. Again, it doesn't matter whether it's the new formulation or the old formulation. I found that benzophenones, another chemical in the last spray, can be more toxic than bisphenol A. And we know that bisphenol A is an endocrine disturber and we think it can cause breast cancer. It is a very worrisome chemical. I found links to possible breast cancers, leukemias, perhaps thyroid cancer, and low-functioning thyroid. And the state would like to say that this study will be obsolete because the formulation is likely to change. Not true. Because what I've called for in this study is for the state to step up and use 21st century medical and scientific knowledge and to start looking at genetic predispositions in the population and to look at how chemicals and particles cause inflammation and biochemical processes. The state is looking in its tests mostly at acute immediate symptoms and that doesn't really tell much about what's going to happen when we're exposed over a long period of time in a time release fashion. It doesn't tell what those chemicals and particles are going to do to the inner workings of our body and how we're going to be able to cope with that. Now, I'd like all of you to look around and I'd like every other one of you to raise your hand. Go ahead, every other one of you, raise your hand. Okay, look around. That's how many of you have genes that make your enzymes less able to deal with chemical insults. The state needs to take your genetic abilities into account. They need to look at how these chemicals and particles react in your system. Because you know what? You can control what you eat. You can control if you exercise. You can control if you take care of yourself. But you can not control what you breathe. And you deserve better. I want you to all give me a big wee! Oh, yeah. Yeah.